Hello. Are you ready to learn this new language? My name is Tari Ward, and I'm here to help you unlock the mystery of your dreams. Remember that working with your dreams can be a lot like learning a foreign language. At first, it all sounds like gibberish, meaningless chatter. But after a while, it starts to make sense. You begin to get the bigger picture as you learn the vocabulary. Let's use the example of a house in a dream. A house is often understood to be a symbol of the whole of the self. The rooms of the house will represent parts of yourself. If the scene takes place in the living room, the dream may be talking about the side of yourself that you present to others, the public aspect of yourself. If it takes place in the bedroom, the dream will be speaking about your more intimate or private aspects. The bathroom may refer to our processes of cleansing and elimination of old things. The backyard may be the parts of yourself that only friends and family know. The basement may represent more hidden, unconscious, or buried aspects of yourself. If the home is one that you grew up in or lived in decades ago, then your dream may be telling you that something about that particular era is affecting your life right now. Your dream is giving you clues about what that is. Pay attention to where your dream takes place. They say if you understand the setting of the dream, you will know what aspect of yourself it is referring to. Every single thing in your dream can be read as a symbol representing something in your mind. Every symbol has multiple meanings, and a number of those meanings can be true at once for you. Think about the general meaning of that object, and then also think about your very personal associations with that object. Many people like to refer to dictionaries of symbols in order to begin to understand their dreams. These can be helpful to a limited extent, but only if they resonate with your own personal sense of the image in the dream. What does it mean to you? What is it saying to you? Curiosity is the most important sensibility to utilize in dream work. Instead of brushing something off as silly or meaningless, Get curious about it. Why was that particular person or thing in my dream? Why now? Freud said the dream is generally referring to something that has occurred in your life within 24 to 48 hours of the dream. Remember that generally, you never completely figure out the dream any more than you figure out the meaning of a work of art, a painting, a dance performance, or a piece of music. There is no conclusion to what the dream means, some kind of final verdict. It is there to inspire your thoughts and understanding, as a masterful work of art will do. Often the dream will tell you a story or a myth, and that story may inform your life for the rest of your life. A good example of this is a dream that I had long ago in which I was going around the edges of a piece of property that I lived on and wandered into some thick bushes. I found a cage there, and as I investigated it, horrible little monster-like gremlins got loose and began to chase me. I was filled with terror as I ran back to my house. I began to run up the large staircase two or three steps at a time when I heard a voice in my head say, just turn around, sit down, and face them. And so I did. The monsters turned into precious little babies that jumped onto my lap for a cuddle. This dream has served me my whole life. 
Whenever I rattle the cage of some unknown psychological territory and a host of perceived dangers and fears erupt, my dream story reminds me to stop myself from running away, but rather to turn around and face the fears. And inevitably, something brand new is made possible. A friend of mine had a dream of moving into a home with her husband that looked like the homes in the area where he had grown up. After they settled in, they realized there were ghosts that lived in the house too. If my friend sang or spoke with any volume, her husband quickly shushed her so that she didn't disturb the ghosts. At one point in the dream, a man who is a very authoritarian, patriarch kind of figure came looking for her to hurt her. In her dream, she went into the bedroom closet and hid. This dream gave her secret and important inf insights into her marriage. If she expresses herself in almost any way at all, her husband, either verbally or energetically, shushes her so as not to disturb the ancestral ghosts of his own upbringing. He is haunted by a culture and a system of values about what a woman should or should not be or do. For safekeeping, her individuality and her power are hiding in the bedroom closet. The dream is saying, look at this. It is time to recognize this. Do you want your voice and your power to remain in the closet? Another fascinating aspect of working with your dreams is to begin to notice the synchronicities that arrive in your waking life that match your dream. One friend had a dream of Native Americans. The next morning on his way to work, traffic on the street was stopped as a huge truck backed across it. On the side of the truck, there was an enormous painting of a Native American elder that seemed to be looking straight at him. A synchronicity like this underlines the importance of what that symbol in your dream means and helps us to recognize the tightly woven fabric of dream life and waking life. They are not two separate realities. Paying attention to your dreams often causes such synchronistic events to occur in your life. You are opening yourself up to experience more acutely the invisible but highly energetic web of life that such events signal. Dream work can adjust your mind in a way that helps you to see your life as a dream, to interpret or read the events of your life as a myth or metaphor Ordinary life, to some extent, becomes extraordinary. Here are a few important things to know about dreams. They always show up for a reason. They always have a timely and important message. As the great psychologist Robert Johnson says it, God wouldn't bother you with irrelevancies. Their main motivation is healing and restoration of balance. And, as Carl Jung says, the dream is always on your side. Have fun with this. Tune in to the next sessions for more information about why to listen and how to listen to your dreams. I'm Taria Ward. As you learn the language of your dreams, let me be a guide. Sweet dreams. <laughs>